right, for the game one, two, three, O'Leary, we're going to use a ball. And I saw this in a couple videos on YouTube. And here's my take on the way this game could be played in your classroom. So I've taught the song one, two, three, O'Leary, four, five, six, O'Leary, seven, eight, nine, O'Leary, ten, O'Leary, postman. And every time we say the word O'Leary, we're going to be moving the ball. Now you'll need a ball that can bounce. And in this game, I figured out that if you could put five students in each line, so we'll be lining up behind each other. And then every time we say the word O'Leary, I'm going to pass the ball back. Now, when I don't have the ball, I can clap on the beat. I like to give everyone something to do in the game at all times. Otherwise, I find, you notice I cut you off like we're singing a song together. Otherwise, I find that people start doing other things with their hands. And so I want everyone to clap unless they have the ball. Or you can have a march. It's your choice. But come up with something so everybody feels engaged and invited to play the game. And they're just not waiting their turn at the end of the line. Oh yeah, I'm just waiting my turn. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna sit down because I'm bored. So let's keep them engaged and keep them singing and moving at the same time. So one, two, three, O'Leary, toss four, five, or bounce on the ball. You can bounce or have them toss. This is a soft ball, so depending on what you're using. One, two, three, pass. And then we go all the way till we get to the last person has it, 10 O'Leary. And then I came up with the idea, instead of having them toss the ball underneath, where I know a lot of people do that, I was thinking, let's give the last person a chance to come up to the front. So then when they're singing um, 10 O'Leary Postman, they would get the ball and then they come up and everybody slides back. Or you can play the traditional way that I've also seen where the last person takes the ball and everybody spreads their feet and they push the ball through, roll it up to the front and they start the game again. So there's two different ways you can play that version of a game with a ball. I'm sharing some ways you can play 123 O'Leary with movement props in your classroom. Some of you might have stuffed animals or like I have a cush ball. And so we can play this game with the cush ball. I'm talking about the version, this is my version of when their students are in a line. And so we'll have five students in the line. And then we're going to toss the ball or the beanie baby or the plush baby, whatever you call them, on the beat. One, two, three, and then I'm gonna toss over my head. Oh, Leary, and the person behind needs to have their hands ready to catch it. And we're gonna go through the whole song. One, two, three, oh, Leary. Four, five, six, O'Leary. Seven, eight, nine, O'Leary. Ten, and then the last person has it, O'Leary. And then they're gonna come up to the front on the word postman and they're going to then become the next leader. Or you can have them do the, if you're playing with a ball or something like this that actually can be thrown, you could try having them split their legs and have the person in the back toss through the legs and they catch it and they start again. I like to give my students turns being the leader, so I would have them have the last student come up and be at the front of the line and then they get to start the game. One, two, three, O'Leary, a fun game song that we can use movement props with in our classroom. Yes, we can play one, two, three, O'Leary with a scarf in so many different ways, which means we can have our kinders, even maybe preschool children, play this little game. They don't have to be able to sing it to play. You can sing it or you can have some students sing while some students play and then take turns. Or you can use a recording that I've made. It's so easy to play this game. I like to use scarves in the classroom and I have scarves. So sometimes you just gotta use what you have, right? So you could tidy up the scarf 
and turn it into a little ball. And it, it, it may not stay. You, if you want to tie it, you could. Just loosely tie it. I don't want to untie knots, so just make a loose little ball. And then we can toss it. One, two, three. And then we're going to toss it over our head. Now with kindergartners, that might be too complicated or they just might not be ready for that. So when we're playing the game where we're standing in a line of five students or more, then we, we might want to adapt it. So one way we could adapt it is, you probably already know the answer is, just pass it to the side. Or we could stand in a circle and just pass it in a circle. But we could take a scarf and turn it into an easy movement prop for the one, two, three O'Leary game. I just love scarves. They're so much fun. One, two, three O'Leary. We can play this game with bean bags. Here's a different version I have seen on YouTube and I thought I would share a way to use it with a bean bag. It's easy to do and it might be easier for you to not have balls rolling around in your classroom. I love bean bags and use them all the time. So we're going to have five students in each line. One, two, three, four, five. And then on the word O'Leary, we're going to pass the bean bag back. Now I would make sure that when I pass it, I'm passing it like this so the other person can grab it so we can keep the song moving and we don't spend time with drop bean bags and a lot of goofing around. So I teach my students to do things very specifically so that they know what they're supposed to do. And then, you know, if silliness happens, that's okay. But a lot of times the students and people need to know what are the expectations. So I'm giving them by being specific in my game directions, I'm giving them in a way my classroom management expectations because I'm saying well I expect you to hold it over your head and to have the other person take it and I want you to play it on the beat and so I'm showing them what I want them to do that way I'm having more success with my students playing the game and having fun because I've actually modeled exactly what I want them to do and of course I'm gonna allow for silliness and mistakes to be made. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that if we don't tell them exactly what we want, they may never have played a beanbag game. So let's show them how you want them to play the game. You may want them just to toss it and the other person has to catch it. That's cool. Do that version. Just communicate to your students how you want them to play this game. So then we have the person at the end, at the end of the song, they have the bean bag. Now you could have everybody spread their legs and try and throw it, but you might hurt somebody and they might get a little confusing. So what I did is I thought, well, why not just have the person at the end, they can just come up to the front, everybody slide back and we'll have them be the leader this time, which I think is a great idea because then I'm getting more students taking turns being the one in the front. So that's a fun way to play one, two, three, O'Leary with a bean bag. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed these games and activities, and I hope that you have the luck of the Irish when you are teaching your music class lessons this month. Don't forget to get this free resource from the Sing Play Create Free Resource Library. Let's keep kids moving and learning with music.